those vapes Keep your wicks wet And your coils tight If you're looking for new flavors And all about the clouds We're all filling up a clear road We're dripping on the sub on reviews for the juice While Trav and Josh host View it on YouTube And prepare for overdose What's up overdose vapors? We're back at ya Oh shit a vortex Y'all see that? It was quick Special video. Always. It's always oh, a special always video, baby. I'm people. Josh Travis. Oh, those vapes. You nice. know. You know what it is. Uh, we got a big one today by Slowfoot Vapes, the makers of Sweet Lucy. Chris Costin has a new one. It's a vanilla custard. Um, you might, if you've watched the channel at all, you're part of the group, you know that we are uh, Sweet Lucy fanatics. I would say Sweet Lucy is probably in my top three of all time. Boom. Um, that just happened. That just happened. Um, so, uh, going into that, I think that a lot of people have a lot of high hopes for, for the next juice. I think that it'd be unfair for us to judge um, Vanilla Custard by Sweet Lucy because yeah. because Sweet Lucy is kind of like this pinnacle in this, in this, this ultra juice. So, we're going to get Sweet Lucy out of our minds. Yep. And we're not gonna we're not gonna be comparing this to Sweet Lucy. We're not gonna be not in any way. In any way, we're not gonna be expecting the same things from Sweet from this as we do from Sweet Lucy. Nope. Oh, right. let's check the bottle, yeah. baby. Let's talk about let's check the bottle. And we get we have a little bit more stuff to talk about first, and then we're gonna we're gonna give us give you our review. All right, we'll be right. Here we are up close with Slowfoot Vapes' newest juice, Vanilla Custard. Uh, <laughs> that's got the label there. Got the new 3D uh, logo. The Slowfoot logo. It's popping. On the side there, you got the picture of the vanilla bean and the custard little dish thing. Looks like flan almost. All right. Let's jump out. Have a vape, huh? <laughs> Damn, that's, that's some vanilla that's, custard, dude. That fucking blew me away. <laughs> All right, so uh, Slowfoot Vapes, vanilla custard. You saw the bottle. It's 65 uh, BG 35 yep, 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 PG. Yep, yep, yep. So it's still pretty, uh, it's, it's, it's not a 50-50, but it's still pretty high PG. So. 65. All right, um, so we got, there's, there's something going on. Uh, we want to address it. Uh, it's nothing major, but, um, the first bottles of this, of, uh, we've, we've had some, a few bottles of this so far. This is not our first bottle. We got sent personal bottles each, uh -huh. right? Of the first, the first bottles we tried were personal bottles, not to review, just to check out. Just to check out. And, um, the, the thing about that juice was that while it was good, it had a very strong hazelnut flavor. A shit flavor. ton of hazelnut, I'd Um, say. to the point where I wasn't getting a lot of custard, it was just like a vanilla hazelnut flavor. Yeah. Alright, no, a hazelnut vanilla There you go. Flavor. Yeah. Right. <laughs> hazelnut vanilla flavor. Yeah. Um, so, uh, that was, that was a big concern, um, going into it, because we didn't know, we thought, we thought that's, it's just not enough of like a vanilla custard yeah. to be called a vanilla custard. Um. So uh, some people actually from the group had gotten some too, and they were uh, they they you know a couple of people said they loved it. A couple other people expressed their uh, their dissatisfaction as far as the having hazelnut. too much has hazelnut. 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 You know the hazelnut. Um, but Chris, he sent us another bottle for review, mm -hmm. and um, I don't know what it is because I've sent him a message and uh, and asked him if it's a different if it's a different uh, blend. He says it's the same, but it's. But it's it's, it's so much better. It's a it's a completely different juice. Um, yeah, it there's just vapes like a different juice. There's no there's no hazelnut. I don't get any hazelnut. I do a little just a, just a, just enough. In a, a, in a little custard, yeah, a right? little bit in the background, but it's yeah. not it's not a mainstay flavor. And I'm actually getting the custard, and I'm actually it's it's a bit off mm. custard now. The vanilla really comes through now. And it's a fucking great juice. It is. Um, <laughs> it I've, is. I've actually had the bottle in my possession, and I baked the whole thing. Um, so we did want to go through that, though, for the people that did order it, um, because we're sitting up here, and we're going to, we, we like it. We like this juice that's in this bottle, and we don't want them to think that we're trying the uh, ultra hazelnut form. No, it, it, is it is different, and so, and so, um... It's a hard one to be in because we've actually, because I've had contact with people in the group who know me and who trust us and uh, who, who might think that we're, that, 
they're we might be sitting there going like, why are they fucking saying that it's not hazelnut when I've had it and it's hazelnut? This one's different. But it's different, and so um, I don't know if there is a um, like, a, like a total redo of the juice or if just over time and having been steeped, it is different. It's turned into this. Product, it is turned into yeah. this product, but um, it is without a doubt 100 percent different, it's and good. I and I like it, mm -hmm. and I I really like it. I do too. It's got um, a nice dark vanilla, like a dark custard. It's a dark juice. It's a very yeah. dark juice. Not yeah. not color wise. Tone wise. Tone wise. Yeah. I mean the the custard is dark, and the uh, the vanilla is dark. It's a dark. And I, I still I do still get a little bit of that hazelnutty. It kind of holds kinda it together. It does. Though. It does. It's good. I enjoy it. In it. Yeah, it's hazelnut in a good way. And the vanilla, Josh is right. It's like this deep vanilla bean. Yeah, like it's, a dark vanilla bean. Yeah, and it's not just like a vanilla flavoring. It's like mm -hmm. a vanilla bean to me almost. Yeah, I can see that. And Jesus the uh, <laughs> that's Josh's new ringtone. The fucking the, Jetsons. The Jetson car. Um, but yeah, and, I, and the custard is there as well. And I, and I think that the vanilla, while the vanilla is the forerunner flavor for me, I do get a, a strong custard on the XL and stuff too. So yeah. And the production's okay for, I mean, for 65, it's, it's where it should be. You know, there's no... They're not real dense. You know, your clouds aren't real dense. No, but that's what a 65 does. That's what a 65 does. Yeah. And it's it's packed with flavor. It is packed with a lot of flavor. It's super flavorful. Uh -huh. It's a little dry. Like, I don't know if that makes sense, but the vape is a little dry. I get that. Or drying. Yeah. Kind of dries you. But I think that's the, you know, 35% PG. This would be my guess. And it does have the trappings of the PG. It does dry your mouth out. Um, I'm not getting like any kind of throat hit or anything, though. No, Luckily, there's no PG like heaviness. No, there's no heaviness. It's a good juice. It is a good juice. It's and it's a, and I've been we've been wrestling with it because we know that um, that some people were unhappy with the hazelnuts. Yeah. And uh, so for us, it's like, how do we review this? Because it's it's like a totally different juice. And we had two different opinions on it, so it might just be the uh, steeping. It might just be the steeping. Oh, yeah. yeah. But it's a nice dark vanilla custard. There's not a lot of, uh, it's not poofy in any way. It's, it's what it is, you know what I mean? It's good. It's not too sweet either, I want to say that. Um, no. I actually find myself enjoying this a lot in the evenings. It seems like a really good way to dessert end the vape. night, like a dessert vape yeah. after dinner. Gotcha. Um, it mixes well like with a lot of other flavors, like like I'm not saying like vape flavors, but like if I'm uh, after I've eaten mm -hmm. or after I've like drank like something. Yeah, some vanilla ice cream. Yeah, yeah. exactly. You know, sure. or after like a milkshake or something. Um, it's been it's been kind of my go-to custard to be honest. So. <laughs> Um, I know a lot of people's opinions are going to be mixed on this one. Um, we love it. Personally, I'm not going to speak for Josh. I, I love it. What's in this bottle is really good. Yeah, It's a very good vape. Yeah. But that's the, that's the thing. That's what's in this bottle. So I don't know that if you order it, you're going to get this or if you're going to get the hazelnuts. That's, he's, he's saying it's all one thing. So you're going to get... You're supposed to get this. Yeah. So um, we're taking Costin's word for it. And he has never let us down in the past. So mm -hmm. I'm going to say that if you buy this product right now, you're gonna get this. Yeah. And, ah. and that is bomb. I might even buy one just check myself. Check game. I'm actually planning on uh, See what's like when it gets here. I'm planning on Wednesday to make a big order of Sweet Lucy. Mm -hmm. And we've actually uh, he's agreed to include another bottle of vanilla custard so no, that I can check it out some more. And um and uh, if if it's different I will do we'll do an update video. We will. Um we want people to know the the truth about these juices. We always try to be honest. We're not trying to hurt anybody's feelings. We're not trying to like get under any, anybody's skin. No, and Chris is a friend of ours, actually, the maker of the juice. We, yeah. You know, to be completely honest, um, he's become a friend. He's a maker of Sweet Lucy. We love Sweet Lucy, and that's kind of how we formed our friendship. And he's over in Florida. We're here, but you know, we chat. He's cool. Yeah, well, I mean, all, all. Uh, I want to be all totally out on the table. We are. I would say that I, would, I consider mm -hmm. Chris a, a very good friend, and um, and he did send this juice, like we said, free of charge. Um, but we also try to be honest, and we try to give the criticisms that we think that uh, that that is necessary. So there it is. There it is. There. Yep. Look for the update because I'm sure you'll get one. We're gonna put it through its paces, check out a few different bottles, and we'll throw an update up. Yep. To be fair to everybody. To be fair to everybody. To be fair to Chris. To be fair to you guys. 
Yeah. There it is. Right Let's now. It a, oh, we got to rate it. Let's yeah, rate it. as it stands right now, this bottle of juice, I'm going to say I'm going to give it an 8.7. Yeah, that's a good score. Eight, I'm going to go 8.4. Okay. 8.4. Yep. To me, it's my go-to custard right now as far as if I'm just making straight vanilla custard. I have a couple different ones. This mm -hmm. is my go-to because it's a, it's different enough. Yeah. Good stuff. Thank you, Chris. Thank you for watching. Give him the spiel, we Yeah, you? okay, so thank you guys for coming and joining us. Thank you, Chris, for standing out. Be sure and subscribe to the channel. We release content constantly. Every day. Go over to the Facebook group. There's a large group of people over there. Very tight-knit community. They will answer any questions you have. Or if you just want to go show off your crazy builds, they will do in all at that as well. Yeah. Um, am I missing anything? I don't think so. Until next time, people, please keep your coils tight. And your wig squad. Bloop, 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 bloop. And remember... Uh, if you're going to use the uh, wicking material, why don't you use cotton bacon B2? Might as well. It's the best. We fucking swear by it.